guys, this is my... What the... Oh, there we go. What's with that? <clears throat> we are at Minecraft Simple Houses 9, maybe 10? I don't know. I gotta start learning to count. Should probably go back to school. Elementary school. <laughs> or pre-K, whatever, you know. Anyway, so over here, we had the last episode house. Big ass thing. Um, and over here in the water, look at this, we built this thing. And I was gonna make a dock, or maybe have like a hole in it, and the boat actually pulls into the house, which I thought would be cool. But, so much work. I mean, it would have to be so much bigger. And I just don't want to do that. I think it, this this house is at a good size. It's a lot of space, actually. It's kind of surprising. Like, you look at it and you think, gosh, just a deck and a room. But we're going to take a spin around here and just get a view of what this house really is. And from the outside, it doesn't look like much. It's a box. And it's got some ridges and some open space. But let's dive bomb in here, a little kamikaze. And let's step on into the house of pain. <laughs> uh, window panes, that is. Um, <laughs> they're being used as railings at the moment, so. That's nice. We got a little plant here, a little plant life. And I did that cutout uh, down the center of the snow with ice in the middle. To just, you know, I don't know. I think it gives a, a little bit more of an aesthetically pleasing look. And I threw a little uh, chandelier up here, just to give some light to this area, without looking completely awkward. And of course I threw a window in, so we can see that beautiful painting there, of the dragon chasing the man, riding a flying pig. It'll happen when pigs fly. And in that picture, the pigs are flying, so it's happening. Um, we have two doors, or should I say four doors, we got our sedan going on. <laughs> if you, you get that joke, that's so lame. Um, sorry, that was a bad joke. But, um, so yeah, so we have two double doors, let's put it that way. And we can go through either one, it doesn't make a difference. Let's walk in. Bam. This actually is more of like a lobby, like a waiting room, like come in, greet your friends, and look down. See, look, see how deep this house actually goes. Like, the water line is at that window. Right beneath that window is the water line. Think about that. Look how far deep, how deeper down this goes. So a lot of this, uh, well, not a lot of this house, but maybe 40% of this house is actually underground. And so that's something hidden. So we get this above ground space, which looks amazing. The entire roof, anywhere that's not those struts over the top, is see-through, which I think is bananas. It is awesome. It's amazing. And then we got the chandeliers here, varying heights, because if they're all at the same height, it looks terrible. This is um, kind of like a beehive-ish type deal. I don't know. I didn't feel like just putting one, so I put three. <laughs> you know, shoot for gold. <laughs> um, the glass on the top is, is because I like natural light. This is um, another natural light, but I've decided to kind of just, you know, to focus it into a specific point. Which was really just so I could put something there and not have this extend all the way across. I really just... I mean, extending all the way across is nice. You can do that if you want, but also... It had that one patch of stone on the roof. Where everything else was either snow or glass. And so I really kind of wanted to put something in there. That really defined that area. And I think that's what that, that, that roof does. And I'm kind of losing my voice. Because... Oh, whoops. I've been doing a lot of stuff lately, just a lot of talking. I went to a party, some concert thing. This girl, I know, had her birthday party. Um, outside of a concert, so we're all trying to talk to each other, eat cake and pizza and whatever, while yelling over this concert. And so I'll get back to the architecture now. <laughs> um, so we're downstairs. Uh, when we came down, this is a, not a steep slope. I'm trying to get away from steep slope. Um... Just because it's it doesn't look as good as, as a gentle staircase. Um, and it's just so much nicer when you're walking. Like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's kind of relaxing in a way. But it looks good. These are, the lights in the walls actually go to both sides of this wall. Uh, this is underneath the deck, is what this is. And so these lights provide light to both sides. 
So they, they have a dual function. Um, this is our kitchen, which is pretty basic. You know, you have your crafting table here, which is like a, it's got a little shelf in there to keep your clean supplies. It's got a sink, and we have our oven. Um, and I put just like some carpet on top. You know, it could be a cutting board, could be whatever you want. This one you could change to gray, and it could be a stove top. That's all up to you. Um, this is a pantry. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's what I get for recording at 12, 12 a.m. Um, you see a pantry or a refrigerator, depending on what type of doors you use, depending on what texture pack. This is Sortex Fanver. Um, this would probably work with uh, flows. I don't think it would be too different. I think it would actually probably, probably work fine um, in terms of, you know, all the items correlating to each other in, in terms of color and, and texture. I think it would probably be fine. Um, we put the tripwire hook there for the faucet. And then I put my table out here, which is, um, what is this? This is, this is slabs and then oak wood blocks. The blocks are three down the middle and then slabs all the way around. So you have foot room, you know, when you sit down and stuff. Which you can't really do. Oh, whoops, let me knock that off. Which you can't really do for real in the game, but it's still something nice to think about. And this is where that focused light comes through. So we kind of get this sort of dramatic split right here during the day. That kind of darkens over this. Who could be the father figure, be very stern, demanding, controlling. Think the darkness is your ally. I was born in the dark. You've merely adopted it. He had someone tell me I sounded like Bane today, so I've been trying to perfect that all day. <clears throat> okay, so then... <laughs> So then we come in here away from our uh, kitchen and dining room. And this is a playroom slash washroom. Because you can see the sink over there. Sinks. Two sinks. And this, this is going to be like a desk slash workbench, whatever you want. I put some plants up here because this is actually um, slab. So this isn't um, normal block height. So it kind of, you put the plants, they're actually a little higher. Those are dead bushes in Sortex Fanbird, which actually look really nice for a dead bush if you ask me. And then roses, of course, because they're so, so beautiful. Um, this is anvil with black carpet on top, and I don't really know why. I just wanted to put something there, and for some reason that made sense to me. I have no clue why the heck that is there. It just, I felt like it. It worked. Um, this is clay. I didn't feel like using wool because it wasn't solid. I think in flows, if you use wool, that looks a lot better. And then this is snow. Um... And then that's my TV, which is jukeboxes in the bottom, because Zortex Famber ones look kind of like cabinets, which I think they also kind of look like you could put a lot of DVDs in there. And I put some spruce wood on the sides to kind of color match that and kind of be like a an upholding frame. That's 3x4, um, and I think that, is this wool? No, this is black. Black clay, this is dark gray clay. So that could be improved upon. That could definitely be improved on something for you guys to look at. I'm going to hurry this up. So let's move over here. Uh, chandeliers. We have our sink. Uh, the lights are actually in the wall behind the flowers, lighting them up without being too distracting. Two sinks. We have our toilet, which we sit in. Ta-da. Um, and then we have a shower here, which is these quartz slabs, which I really just like them for effect, kind of a thing in a jigger. Um, faucet head, shower heads. And then I lowered the floor into quartz slabs, and then put a shelf in there for your shampoos. And stuff, and then I put stone slabs across top, and then that one strut from the outside, uh, the center large strut comes down here, and then the lights walk up your bottom path to the bottom. Try to keep this under 10 minutes, but I'm really not doing that very well. Uh, we got a chest here with lights underneath it, so light comes out, still lights up the area without being too distracting. We have a painting overhead, which I have no clue what that is, but it looks like blood, so it's a little creepy. Uh, light, light, fern, fern, sink, faucet, bam, you know the drill. Um, three lights here, I put the shape in, kind of to define the space, and, um, I just thought it looked cool. Got lights up here with, uh, three glass blocks, Can I give some definition. We got a toilet with, um, quartz slab behind it, so that'd be like the porcelain, whatever. Another shower with two, two shower heads and light to illuminate, and then that's that. And this is just like that because the floor was, was actually right above me for the, for the floor above us. Um, shampoo rack. And then a bed. And that will be a house plus chandeliers. 
Uh, the bed is snow, and then blue, blue clay. And that's all I have for right now. Thank you very, 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 very much for watching, and enjoy your day. Yes, enjoy your day, or night, however fits you. Like, comment, rate, subscribe. I doubt you subscribe. I don't do very much exciting things. But at least like and comment. Say something. Tell me what I need to do better. Every time someone says something to help me improve, that helps me. Just do it. Nike. Shouldn't have said that. That's copyrighted. Thank you. Bye.